Hello friend, this is Praveen. In this video, we will see the questions from GATE 2018 for subject Electronics and Communication Engineering. In this video, we will see the questions from Electromagnetics topic. For rest of the topics, please uh, find the playlist available on my YouTube channel. So here we will start. Question number 1. There are two photolithography systems. One with light source of wavelength lambda 1 is equal to 156 nanometer and another with light source of wavelength lambda 2 is equal to 325 nanometer. Both photolithography systems are otherwise identical. If the minimum feature sizes that can be realized using system 1 and 2 are aluminum 1 and aluminum 2 respectively, the ratio aluminum 1 to aluminum 2 is. So here we know the minimum feature size is equal to L minimum is given as K lambda upon N A. So where N A is numerical aperture k is constant and lambda is wavelength so here we will see that this minimum feature size is directly proportional to the wavelength so for both the systems we write the ratio of uh, minimum feature size which is uh, l minimum 1 upon l minimum 2 would be equal to lambda 1 upon lambda 2 so on simply putting the values of lambda 1 and lambda 2 which is given in the question so lambda 1 is equal to 156 nanometer and lambda 2 is equal to 325 nanometer. On solving this, we will get 0 0.48. So this is the ratio of aluminum 1 to aluminum 2. So we will write the answer up to two decimal places, which is 0 0.48. Next question we have. A lossy transmission line has resistance for unit length R is equal to 0 0.05 ohm per meter. The line is distortionless and has characteristic impedance of 50 ohm. The attenuation constant in Napa per meter correct to three decimal places of the line is. So here we can directly calculate the attenuation constant alpha which is equal to R upon Z naught. So here on putting the values of uh, alpha and uh, characteristic impedance Z naught, R is 0 0.05 and Z naught is given. 50. So here on calculating this we will get 0 0.001. So answer is in napper per meter. So here correct to three decimal places we will write 0 0.001. You can get this expression if you know the characteristic of distortionless and lossy transmission lines. Uh, you know the uh, propagation constant. Uh, gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta where gamma is equal to r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c so for and for uh, distortionless you know uh, this uh, where alpha is the attenuation constant uh, this alpha is not the function of omega so this would be cancelled out and we will get alpha is equal to r into g and another characteristic of a distortionless uh, transmission is uh, RC is equal to L into G. And if you know the characteristic impedance Z0 is equal to square root of R plus G omega L upon G plus G omega C. Again, this would be uh, in case of distortionless, th that omega term will not be there. So it would be square root of R upon G and with this three expressions we can easily get alpha is equal to R upon Z naught. Now next question we have the distance a wave has to propagate in a medium having a skin depth of 0.1 meter so that the amplitude of the wave attenuates by 20 dB is. So here amplitude of the wave uh, attenuates by 20 dB is given which is in dB so here we will convert it into meter so it would be 20 log base 10 E naught upon EX which is equal to 20 dB is given so on solving this we will get E naught upon EX is equal to 10 magnitude of the field in the material is given as EX is equal to E naught e to the power minus x upon del where del is equal to skin depth. 
so from here we can get uh, x is equal to del of natural log e naught upon e x so here it is uh, on putting the values of del which is 0 0.1 and natural log its so base is e 10 so here on solving this we will get 0 0.23 which is our correct answer so b is what will be our correct answer now we have next question the cutoff frequency of a t is 0 1 mode of an air filled rectangular waveguide having inner dimensions a centimeter by b centimeter where a is greater than b is twice that of the dominant t10 mode when the waveguide is operated at a frequency which is 25 percent higher than the cutoff frequency of the dominant mode the guide wavelength is found to be 4 centimeter the value of b is so here it is given that the cutoff frequency of t is 0 1 mode so here uh, fc cutoff frequency for 0 1 mode is equal to twice that of the dominant mode so two times of the cutoff frequency for dominant mode which is 1 0 so here uh, we know the uh, cutoff frequency is uh, given as c upon 2 a for 1 0 mode and similarly for uh, 0 1 mode it will be given as c upon 2 b so from here on simplifying this we can get b is equal to a upon 2 right now on the other hand we know the guide wavelength lambda g is equal to lambda naught upon square root of 1 minus cutoff frequency upon f whole square so here it is given that when the waveguide is operated at a frequency which is 25 percent higher than the cutoff frequency it means this f is equal to 1.25 25 percent higher 1.25 into fc right also the guide wavelength is found to be 4 centimeter lambda g is given 4 centimeter we know that lambda naught is equal to c upon f and where f is equal to 1.25 fc so we will put here 1.25 fc on putting these values uh, in the equation so we will get 4 is equal to c upon 1.25 fc whole upon square root of 1 minus fc upon here f is equal to 1.25 fc whole square so here on simplifying this we will get c upon fc is equal to 3 so here we know the C upon FC is equal to C upon 2A which is equal to 3 here. So here further simplifying this we can get the value of A which is equal to 1.5 here. Now putting the value of A in this equation we will get B is equal to 1.5 by 2 which is equal to 0 0.75 so this is our answer here the value of b to two decimal places will be 0 0.75 here we have next question a uniform plane view traveling in a free space and having the electric field so electric field expression is given here an incident on a dielectric medium relative permittivity is greater than 1 relative permeability is equal to 1 as shown in the figure and there is no reflected view the relative permittivity of the dielectric medium is so here we have to find the epsilon r which is greater than 1 given the problem so here by observing the figure and from the expression uh, we can say this component is uh, square root of 2 and this is 1 
if you consider this angle is theta i so by simple trigonometric rule this would be theta i and uh, tan theta i we can write it as square root by 2 divided by 1 so here if uh, theta i is equal to theta b so from the Brewster's law we can say tan theta b is equal to epsilon of r of 2 upon epsilon r 1 so we know the for free space epsilon r1 is equal to 1 so now on putting the value of epsilon r1 is equal to 1 and uh, tan theta b which is equal to tan theta i is equal to root 2 in this expression we will get epsilon r2 is equal to root 2 now from here we can easily get the epsilon r2 is equal to 2 so this is our answer the relative permittivity of the dielectric medium is equal to 2.00 up to 2 decimal places so that's all about for this video we have seen the questions from electromagnetic topics uh, asked in the uh, gate 2018 exam for uh, the questions from other topics please find the videos in playlist available on my youtube channel and uh, also its uh, links are given in the description of this video so thanks for your kind attention please like share and comment and subscribe my channel pravin254888 all the best friends thank you very much